Ciao a tutti. Benvenuti. Hello everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial for the setup and assembly of the new TTL 6A line source system. In this tutorial, we will see how to assemble a cluster composed of two TTL 6A modules. Position the first module is positioned upside down below the lifting system. Note that in order to couple two TTL6 modules one on top of the other, the first must be inverted in order to optimize the coupling of the two drivers. For this reason, no more than two TTL6 modules can be installed on a single sound column. The TTL6 system can also be coupled with the TTL6 AS sub triple 12, which has the same mechanical system as the TTL6 and can be installed in a cluster including one or two TTL6s and one or two TTL6 AS subs for a sound column of up to four modules in total. The mechanics for the installation of the TTL6 and TTL6 AS modules is implemented asymmetrically. This means, as will be seen in the video, that the left section of the flybar has an attachment bracket for the module, while the right section has a seating for hooking the module bracket. This makes it possible to fit the modules either way up, as in the case of two TTL6s on top of each other, or combined with other TTL6 AS modules. First, the left bracket is fixed to the flybar, inserting the two pins into the top two holes. Now the flybar is supported on the first TTL6 module, taking care to insert the left bracket into the hook seating. The pins are then fixed at the back in the single available position. Slide the bracket so that it goes down far enough to insert the attachment pins, checking that they are correctly inserted. Now the right front bracket of the TTL6 is slid into the flybar seating in the 6 degree position and the two flybar fixing pins are inserted. The left bracket will already be inserted into the flybar and it is only necessary to insert the locking pin to fix it in position. The insertion of the pin can be assisted by moving the flybar slightly up and down with one hand while inserting the pin with the other. The flybar is now fixed to the module. Next, the hanging accessory is attached in the position required to obtain the correct inclination of the system. The hanging accessory can be fitted in two different positions, A and B. Position B varies the angle by 0.5 degrees and represents an intermediate point between the two nearby holes. This effectively doubles the options for inclining the system. For this purpose, a custom version of the Ease Focus 3 software will soon be released and will provide indications of the angles to set on the basis of the cover requirements. It will also be possible to make a preliminary simulation of the SPL and the frequency response of the system before the installation so that right from the design stage it is possible to establish whether the client's requirements are satisfied. Next, the first module is raised high enough so that the second can be hooked on. The first module is lowered directly onto the second, engaging the pins in the rear brackets as with the flybar. Now the required angle of aperture between the two modules is set. The bracket is positioned for the relevant angle and the suspension pin is fitted. The same procedure is completed on both sides. The system is now put into traction and the modules are allowed to assume the set inclination. When in position, the locking pins are inserted to avoid the modules from leaning on each other and losing their desired inclination. Thank you for your attention. For any further information, see the relevant manuals, which can be freely downloaded from our website. Goodbye.